fucking strong. What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel, thank you again for tuning in and welcome to another video. I am super excited to do this one, in fact, I wish I would have done it a week or two plus or minus when I did the video of five things I kind of hate about the M3 and M4. Why BMW decided to admit sporty brushed aluminum pedals standard on a car the way mine was priced out, $80,000, blows my mind. Um, it comes standard on entry-level performance cars. Um, a car that I had in the past was a S2000, standard. Um, Acura ILX, standard, which is very similar to just a Civic Si. Golf R, standard. But a sixty dollars to $100,000 M3, M4, just basic plain Jane rubber pedals that have j just no, no performance looks to them at whatsoever. Um, I think it's the biggest shortcoming of the interior of the M3 and I wish I could go back in time and do a pickup shot of the five things I kind of hate about the M3 because that would be one of them. I, I It blows my mind. I think it was a weak attempt at BMW to want to sell you on a M performance part and try to get the brushed aluminum which personally I, I think they're okay looking. I know I've always talked about OEM quality but um, I'm, I'm sure the quality is great. I'm just not crazy about the look. Um, it doesn't really look all that sporty. It looks kind of flat to me. There's that black wavy line that just doesn't kind of go with anything else. So, plus I've done the brushed aluminum and multiple cars that I've had in the past, which were standard. They came standard. I want to do something different and I'm all about that contrast as you can tell from the other uh, videos that I do. So I'm going for the black. So let's check them out. Let's get them unboxed and let's get them in the car. As you can tell from the wrapping and from the box, I ordered this again from IND. I will put a link in the description below. All right, after the bubble wrap comes this white cardboard box with this P sticker on there. So you know it is sealed and brand new. There is the dead pedal, which I am super, I already love, I already love it. Um, I went for the, I think it was a $20 option to have the M engraved. I mean, 20 bucks, why not? Uh, I already love that contrast. So there is the dead pedal. I'll be showing you what we do with this here. This is going to be our template. So we're gonna need that. Don't lose that. Inside there is our hardware, two zip ties, which we will need for the template. The gas pedal. And I got two of these, which I definitely remember when I did the selection that I was dual clutch. So it appears that I got, I don't know if this is how the kit's supposed to come, where you both, you get one for a clutch, even though I said I was dual clutch. So maybe they just, they come standard and we just won't be using one. Um, extremely light, but uh, nice aluminum, not cheap rubber. That's pretty much it for what's in the box. We are now gonna go in the garage. Once again, I'm gonna show you what tools I'm going to use and uh, get the install going. Here we go. All right, guys, here we go. So these are the parts that came with the kit. Uh, like I said, dead pedal, gas pedal. This will be for the brake. These four bolts, washers, and locking nuts will be for the brake. These four self-tapping screws will be for the gas pedal. And then for the dead pedal, it's just adhesive, but I'm going to up the ante on that and actually use some one inch drywall screws. So these are actually gonna go with that. Uh, you will need to drill um, a 11 64th bit. Uh, you will also need a, a socket and a nine millimeter for those locking nuts. So that's for that. Um, this is the template that came with it, which we'll be putting over the brake pedal. Zip ties, two came with it. I might even use a couple. Uh, make sure you have a good light source, flashlight, something like that. I already have my 
Braun light that I've done from another video inside there for the video. Uh, I did tell you to use a uh, cardboard. I actually am gonna change it up and use the bubble wrap that came with the packaging to put on the carpet to make sure any metal shavings don't get embedded into the carpet. So that is just gonna be something to catch the metal shav shavings. We'll roll it up, throw it away. And that is it. Let's get to it. All right, first things first, move your seat all the way back. All right, I've taken the bubble wrap and I've laid it down in the car to catch any metal shavings or plastic shavings or anything like that, just so it doesn't get embedded in the carpet. Um, as for the brake pedal, this is just a chintzy rubber cover that you just kind of peel back and off as so. So you just take this, kind of work it with your fingers. And that just comes off. Um, we're gonna take our template and put that over there. There's gonna be three points of contact, top left, top right, and the side. And then we'll take that zip tie and um, securely put it to the brake pedal so it doesn't move while we make our markings. There are not a lot of options. There's a couple, but there's not a lot of options for holes. This one is blocked by this, the pole coming down. Uh, this one is blocked by the same thing. Uh, this doesn't really clear. This bottom middle looks like it might be decent. This top right middle might be decent and that very top right might be that's gonna be close I might try to get greedy and try to do three holes in here just to be extra secure but let's at least do two let's go for that at least Broke a bit. Broke a bit. There's one. Holy moly. It's thick. No comments. I don't know if I have enough juice for a third hole. I'm already getting the red light on my drill. One way to find out. Man, my battery's already, already given up. I'm close. I hope I didn't get greedy with doing another hole that I didn't need to do. Moment of truth. That's a good hole. That's a good hole. That one's a little questionable. It looks like I got three points of contact there. Sweet. So all I'm doing is I'm taking um, the third nut, which I wasn't called for in the directions, but I'm just doing it for extra precaution, like I said. Um, the nut and the washer on the back of the pedal, and then obviously the screw through the front. And in like typical fashion, um, I forgot to say that you need a Phillips, obviously. Duh, completely overlooked that, but I'm just gonna put our nine millimeter uh, behind here to hold it onto the bolt and then use the Phillips to secure it down.
And before I really crank it down, I'm just gonna get it pretty tight and then make sure that it is straight, level, even, looks pretty darn good. And what's funny, you guys probably cannot get this on camera right now, but my screwdriver, which is slightly magnetic, is covered in metal shavings right now. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It is fuzzy with metal shavings, so I'm glad I put this plastic down. It's pretty good. Now I'm gonna go back and really crank it down. Jeez, that is not going anywhere. <clears throat> I feel a little better too about using a third point of contact instead of just the two, but I'm sure it would have been fine from the instructions. They've been selling the, these kits for lots of models of BMWs for many, many years, so yeah, we are not, that is not coming off, not twisting or nothing. One down, the hardest one. So I'm just going to kind of give this a quick little wipe down while its last time of exposure is exposed. All right, moving on to the gas pedal here. We're obviously just overlaying this right over the existing. And I think what I'm gonna do, I don't know if you guys can see this, let me go down a little bit. I think what I'm gonna try to do, instead of having it rest against there, raise that up a little bit, and a good little cheat is to use the existing template and maybe maybe put that there like that. And I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do exactly that. Man, so much debris, it's embarrassing. I'm embarrassed. All right. I'm going to use that as a little wedge. Keep that even. A little bit of metal on the left, a little bit of metal on the right. One, two, three, let's go four down. Four down. Okay. Let's go one, two, and the third up. And on the third up. I think that'll be good. And that may be very difficult to make out on the gas pedal, but I'm just gonna make another little mark. Another little mark, a little darker. A little darker. A little darker. All right, I've made my four marks with the Sharpie just to darken it a little bit. I'm now going to carefully remove most of this plastic here that had the metal shavings on it. Actually, and I still see some more, so I'm gonna do a quick Dyson uh, clean up real quick. Oh, I know we are self-tapping, so technically shouldn't be doing pre-drilling, but I'm getting a very thin bit and just kind of really just doing it as a mark to make sure I'm dead center. So the self-tapping just have a, a biting mark. There we go. And not that it's too late, but just double checking. I hope it just stays like that. That would be awesome. This is it. No turning back now. Another Christmas in the trenches. Everything else is lined up. If I can just... Good. Perfect.
Nice. All right, we are two down. It stayed perfectly symmetrical, just like how I wanted. There's barely a lip over all the way evenly on the left side, barely a lip evenly all the way on the right side. And it's just barely hovering over here so there's no like wedge creaking or anything like that on the bottom. I can see if I can go a little bit lower for you. So that was exactly the width of the template they gave me. So that was a nice little cheat. And uh, it is on there. Beautiful, here we go, dead plate. Thought I had to take this off, but um, you don't, so oh well, that's off now. And I'm just pulling up, kind of using some force, uh, another tool that I didn't think I would need, but just some trim removal tools to help give some leverage here. It appears there's one, two, I think at least three, possibly a fourth clip. There it goes. Finally. And what I'm doing now is I'm just, in a very crude way, gonna black this out just with a Sharpie, um, just to kind of camouflage it so you're not gonna see bright white behind a black petal. I really want to get the lowest profile look out of this dead petal and I just don't see that happening overlaying the aluminum one. So I'm going to use the adhesive double sided tape, the 3M that is already on the back thing, as well as some black um, drywall screws So and just drill right into this. I think it's going to be alright. The final piece, and the instructions do say kind of, you know, play with the fitment a couple times um, before. You know, see, oh, there's only there's only one little hole that you see. That is funny, and I might even put a screw there. All right, uh, this I'm fine with going right on the edge. How much really room to play is there? Just gonna butt up against the left, sit on the bottom. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I would be good with that. I mean, we are pretty much there, ladies and gentlemen. We are pretty much there. Fresh, clean carpet, this to stick to, and then I'm not even playing around. And uh, I'm actually gonna put in some black drywall screws because. I think we are okay with four. So four screws in this one, and then moving on to the brake pedal, we added one extra, so it was a total of three in there, and then four of the self-tapping screws in that. Oh my goodness. Finally, has some premium pedals. Pedal hauls for the win. Woo! Like, that is so much better than, than this junk. I mean, oh, I know I'm really getting some cool uh, glare effect right now with the light. I don't know how dramatic it would be without the light. So this is just garage lighting, but yeah, still. All right, time for the mandatory obligated beauty shots. Let's do it. Uh, 
uh, I didn't mention this during the video, but uh, as I was going around, uh, they actually did send me a manual trans uh, pedal set. So I don't know if that was just pure mistake or they were like, poop, we're out of the automatics, uh, just give them a manual trans. Both the pedals were the exact same shape, exact same size. So it didn't appear there was a different one for the clutch of a manual versus the brake of that. So um, I got an extra pedal and I got extra screws and hardware. So which I utilized on the brake pedal instead of using just two, I used three. So it here's a cool thing that I didn't, being in the, the seat and looking down is even more aggressive. Check, check this out. That is, that just looks better. I mean, that looks more like, okay, you spent some money on the car, which obviously no, we did. But um, yeah, better than the little cheap rubber covers. And I never really liked the dead pedal and the fact that they put the dead pedal aluminum, but then they left these two in rubber, making you almost want to buy the M Performance, which then you get the little squirrely black line of the dead pedal. I don't know, it just, it just was kind of wonky. It's a good change, it's a good change. I've actually inserted a couple movie quotes into this video. If you think you know them all, leave a comment. I would like to see if you picked up on all of them. Anyway, thank you again for tuning in. If you liked today's video or you found it useful, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave a comment. And if you haven't done it already, please subscribe. I will catch you guys next time. Out.